We've had our scissors dropped, um, they're worth about $600. Um, straightening irons dropped and cracked, um, yeah. magazines ripped, yeah. the covers off the chairs all, you know, snot rubbed in on the, the chairs. And yeah. we've got children ourselves, so we understand what it's like, but we just wish parents would monitor their children more. We've had an interesting reaction. We've had some, some comments have been really nasty. Mm. Lots of, you know, quite threatening things. We're going to bring our kids in and have them crap on the floor and rub it in. And I think mm. it's probably... Just a little bit sad that people do focus so much on the negative stuff. Parents used to get involved, they'd be standing next to the chair, talking to us, talking to their child, and it would be a really good environment. Now we, the child's left to us and the parents on their phone, and it's a bit sad because mm. you sort of miss out on the interaction. You can kind of actually see why the child plays up because they are just trying to get their parents' attention. Um, it's not the children's fault. So now what we're expecting is that the children that do come in and do pay the $90 price for the haircut, you know, like they can be pampered and, you know, have the real nice experience rather than this whole chaos. <laughs>